The COVID-19 pandemic has affected a lot of people's relationships around the globe, and famous folks are no exception. It's tough to say with certainty why some of these celeb couples split, but we do know for sure that they all broke up quietly during the pandemic. SNL alum Bill Hader and Heart of Dixie star Rachel Bilson dated for about six months in 2020, but they didn't make it through the summer together. In January 2020, they went public with their romance when they walked the red carpet together at the Golden Globe Awards, but it was a different story that July at the height of the pandemic. Despite making things public, Hader and Bilson kept their split very low profile and never publicly acknowledged that they'd gone their separate ways, not even via their representatives. Nevertheless, a number of sources claimed to People magazine that their breakup was official and amicable. Back in February, a source had told the magazine that the pair had enjoyed a Valentine's Day trip to the Montage Hotel in Laguna Beach. As the source put it, they spend a lot of time together and it seems like a serious relationship. Rachel won't stop laughing when she's with Bill. He is very sweet and considerate to her, quick to open doors and acts very attentive. Sadly, despite those happier times, it looks like this one just wasn't meant to be. Glee star Diana Agron and former Mumford & Sons member Winston Marshall were never particularly vocal about their relationship. They kept things hush-hush from beginning to end as they barely spoke about each other in interviews and rarely appeared on each other's social media accounts. Despite Agron keeping her Instagram stocked full of fun photos of her life, she never even confirmed that she'd tied the knot with Marshall, although her rep confirmed to Us Weekly in October 2016 that they had indeed gotten married in Morocco. Then, in August 2020, the same magazine reported that the couple had gone their separate ways, explaining that they'd been living apart for a while and that Agron was already dating again. Nevertheless, it appears that this wasn't a bad breakup. Despite barely ever acknowledging each other on social media, Agron and Marshall still followed each other on Instagram, although as of April 2021, that's no longer the case. While Agron still follows Marshall, he appears to have clicked the unfollow button on his ex, though to be fair, he currently follows only one account, the nonprofit organization Hong Kong Link Up. When Noah Centineo and model Alexis Wren split, the To All The Boys I've Loved Before star didn't make a big deal out of it. While the two were together, they were undoubtedly one of the best-looking couples in the world, but alas, it wasn't meant to last forever. Us Weekly confirmed that they were an item in September 2019, although it wasn't until January 2020 that Centineo actually made things Instagram official. As he captioned the since-deleted photo, My dad says, I look like I just finished a fight with Conor McGregor and lost. I say at least one of us in this photo is gorgeous. Love you, baby. Have you and Noah said the L word yet? Yeah, I love that man. He's amazing. Unfortunately, Centineo and Wren just couldn't go the distance during the tough times of the pandemic, but they didn't put much of a spotlight on their split. They quietly went their separate ways without many fans even noticing, though some social media users grew suspicious after noticing the pair had unfollowed each other on Instagram in March 2020. A source confirmed to Us Weekly a month later that they'd actually broken up a few weeks earlier when the pandemic first took hold. Jonah Hill and Gianna Santos are yet another couple who didn't exactly shout their split from the rooftops, despite being engaged for about a year. The 21 Jump Street star and the beauty brand content manager were photographed together only a handful of times throughout their relationship, so it's no surprise then that their breakup was also kept on the down low. Neither has spoken publicly about going their separate ways, though a source confirmed the news to People magazine in October 2020. Hill and Santos were first romantically linked in August 2018, and he popped the question to her in September 2019. After the news of their split became public knowledge, Hill ignored all the breakup chatter on Instagram, but it certainly didn't seem like he was sitting around drowning in his sorrows. In the months since the engagement was called off, he's posted shots of himself surfing, working on a new movie that he's directing, and shacking up with what appears to be a rescue puppy. Jennifer Gardner wasn't exactly out in the spotlight with her recent ex, businessman John Miller. The mom of three kept their relationship very quiet for almost two years, and she followed suit when it came to their breakup. Entertainment Tonight reported in August 2020 that the two were no longer together, revealing that they managed to keep things so quiet that the world didn't find out they'd broken up for a few months. As a source explained, Jen and John called it quits several months ago. They've remained friends. They just started seeing less and less of each other and finally called it quits. She has nothing negative to say about John, they just seemed to drift apart. She says he was an amazing stepping stone in her life. Jen's focus still remains on her children, her career, and spending time with those who make her really happy. I like my life. 
Garner and Miller reportedly started dating in October 2018 in the wake of her divorce from Ben Affleck, with whom she shares her three children. A source confirmed the news to E.T. with the insider claiming, "...it wasn't easy at first, and she even had to push herself to date. When she finally did step into that world, she kept that part of her life very private." You can say that again. Ashley Benson and Cara Delevingne's relationship had fans swooning during the two years they were together. They were regularly spotted together by the paparazzi while out and about, but things seemed to fizzle when much of the world locked down. In May 2020, People magazine confirmed that they'd gone their separate ways, though they'd managed to keep things quiet for several weeks before the news was made public, as it was actually in early April 2020 when they called it quits. Reportedly, Delevingne in particular had been leaning on her friends while spending an increased amount of time at home. She'd been self quarantined and hanging out with the likes of actress Margaret Qualley and Margaret's sister, Rainey, as well as model Kaya Gerber. In a rare acknowledgment of the split, Delevingne publicly defended her ex on an Instagram story in May 2020. Fans on social media were speculating that Benson may have cheated, to which Delevingne responded, "...it's more important than ever to spread love, not hate. To everyone hating on Ashley Benson, please stop. You don't know the truth. Only her and I do, and that's exactly how it should be." Former race car driver Danica Patrick and football star Aaron Rodgers seemed to be the definition of couple goals during their two-year romance. They even quarantined together at the beginning of the coronavirus outbreak, but they didn't make it through to the end of the pandemic. In fact, both of them came out the other end with different partners. In February 2021, Rodgers announced that he was engaged to actress Shailene Woodley, while that April, Patrick gushed about her new romance with businessman Carter Comstock. In July 2020, People magazine reported that Patrick and Rodgers had gone their separate ways ways, with Patrick confirming the news. Fans had grown suspicious that the two were no longer together after noticing that Patrick had unfollowed the quarterback on social media. They weren't afraid to put their relationship on display on social media throughout their relationship, but they never got very public about their split. However, Patrick did appear to hint at the breakup when she opened up about experiencing heartbreak during an April 2021 episode of Running Wild with Bear Grylls, though she didn't mention Rogers by name. A lot has changed in the last year for sure, and probably could be said for just about everybody um, can say that, uh, but lots of great things for sure. Actress Olivia Munn and businessman Tucker Roberts dated for more than a year before they ultimately called it quits. They managed to keep their split under the radar for a long time before it hit the news. In August 2020, reps for both of them confirmed that they'd gone their separate ways, with a source telling Us Weekly that their breakup had actually happened months earlier, though neither appears to have publicly addressed it. Munn and Roberts never exactly shouted their romance from the rooftops, but that doesn't mean they were afraid to make it known that they were dating. Munn made their romance Instagram official in November 2019 when she shared an adorable couple costume photo along with the caption, "'Happy Halloween from Judy and Jesse Gemstone.'" We have to wonder now if they're fans of all of Danny McBride's HBO shows. As a source claimed to Us Weekly, Munn and Roberts made their relationship debut on November 2, 2019 at a Los Angeles party where they arrived together holding hands and spent much of the night either by the pool or dancing. Alas, the good times didn't last forever. Unfortunately for Queer Eye star Karamo Brown and director Ian Jordan, the pandemic did more than just bump their save the date. During a September 2020 appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Brown opened up about how lockdown led to much more than just cabin fever for the couple. As he revealed, the wedding was postponed because of the pandemic, but now it's actually postponed officially because my fiancé and I, we were together for 10 years, and we broke up about three and a half months ago. We were distracted by so much with the kids and our careers that, during that time, I had had to really say, how is our communication? How is other parts of our lives? Are we growing in the same place? Brown also divulged a few more details about their breakup, as he noted that there was no infidelity and that he and Jordan remained friends after completing some virtual counseling together. As he put it, "...we're not 20 anymore, so it wasn't just like, oh, I'm not going to text you anymore. It was like, we have a family and a home. How do we separate this?" And it was hard, but eventually I was like, this is a moment where I need to decide, is my happiness important? And once I made that decision, I said, you know, we are going to have to break up. It hasn't always been easy to keep up with the comings and goings of Ryan Seacrest and his on-again, off-again girlfriend, Shayna Taylor. As People magazine reported in June 2020, they quietly split for the third and seemingly final time amidst the backdrop of the coronavirus pandemic. As a source described the situation, Ryan and Shayna decided to end their romantic relationship amicably some time ago. They remain good friends, each other's biggest supporters, and will always cherish their time together as a couple. The source also suggested that Seacrest had already moved on from Taylor, claiming that 
that at the time the breakup news hit the headlines, he was on vacation in Mexico with a group of friends and a new love interest. Seacrest and Taylor first met in 2013, but then split for the first time about a year later. They got back together in May 2017 and took things to the next level by moving in together, but then they called it off again in February 2019. That second split didn't last too long, as they were back together by that September. The current breakup might sound final, but with these two, it seems like a reconciliation is always a possibility. That's all the Thanks. time we have. Yeah. All right, love you, bye. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.